Hello and welcome. My name is John Hobby, and I have successfully helped a three-year-old, our three-year-old, stop sucking his thumb. Now, we used a two-and-a-half pronged approach, right? Pincer attack, everybody. All right, well, it's a little more complicated than just um, some of this stuff. So let me tell you what we did. For starters, we got my phone out. I think I have my phone right here. And sitting in bed after I ordered some of this stuff, I showed him some YouTube videos about what happens when you suck your thumb, and it's just gratuitous guilt tripping with, uh, look what your teeth are going to look like, your face is going to be warped, you're going to look like a rabbit kind of a video. You just YouTube search at thumb sucking videos and you'll find them. So I showed our three-year-old two of these videos, and then guess what? That first night, on his own, with none of this stuff, he went to bed not sucking his thumb. He woke up the next morning with his thumb in his mouth, which is kind of to be expected. It's habit. Now, let's get this out of the way here. And then, so when these arrived, again, I ordered these on Amazon.com. I'd recommend you do the same if you're interested in helping a child suck his thumb. Stop sucking his thumb. Um, you can see this is a small size tea guard. Now, this is not cheap. Now, this is a, an, a silicone device that looks like this. Um, this fits over his thumb. You can see I punched some holes in it. This was not my idea. Somebody in the reviews in Amazon.com suggested that you punch these holes for breathability so it doesn't stink up the place and get all cruddy. And that really worked well. I just used a normal paper hole puncher. And then this fits around his thumb. Um, this part goes down. So it's oriented like this. Obviously, it's not going to fit on my thumb. It's oriented like this. Um, for my child, the small was just the right size. If his thumb were any bigger, he's kind of in the 30th percentile for size for a three-year-old. So he's a smaller boy. I mean, if he were any bigger, this would not have fit. So he weighs around 30 pounds, you know, 29 and a half to 30 pounds when we started this. Um, I don't know if that will help you. Really, you just need to try it on. Follow the guidelines online. Anyway, so this it fits like this. And then these two things cross over his hand like this. And then this goes down the back. And what happens is these will cross like this. And they're numbered right here. So you can remember what number. So he always was on a number four right here. So I always put it on number four. And then his thumb was sticking up right here. And then you had two points to wrap the wrist straps right here. Now the wrist straps are really long. And something that I found, you separate them like this. They're just like little kind of medical wrist straps, kind of like something, you know, when you go to a concert or something. And um, I would always count these off. So he, you know, would be in, now it gets interesting here. There's a little bit more to this, but let me explain how this works. So it was the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five. That's the one that would click into this. That's how big his wrist was. But I would count three more, one, two, three to eight. And then I would take some scissors and I would cut right here. So that way there wasn't just tons of this stuff flopping around all night. And at first I was concerned that this wouldn't be comfortable, but after like two nights, you remember the two and a half prong. So there's, you know, this, the nail polish and the YouTube video psychology. I only showed him that once. I didn't show him that every night. I didn't want to guilt trip him to death, but after two days, you know, he wanted to stop sucking his thumb. So he, you know, would ask for his, he called it his bracelet, right? So he's like, daddy, I want my bracelet. And then, you know, he'd choose a color. He's like green, you know, and whatever was left. And then we would put this on his thumb. You know, the for us, we just put it through the lower one right here, through this one, and then we would clip it together. Uh, the clip was usually right here. Yeah, it was on this side. It was a side like where his wrist was. That's where the the little plastic clip button thing would be. So either way, he would actually ask for it. He would sleep just fine. I was afraid it would upset his thumb. And for us, it worked just putting it through the night. And there's a reason why we got away with that. And that's this stuff. This is Mavala Bitter, you know, help stop nail biting. It's just a bitter nail polish that tastes horrifically bitter. Uh, I've actually got some in my mouth and it's actually not too bad, but for, for a child, um, a three-year-old, he wasn't too fond of this stuff. So here's how it worked. Uh, and this is, I think, why it worked straight away. Number one, we showed him that video. So he, want, he had the desire to stop sucking his thumb. Then the first night we got these, 
I painted his thumbs and his fingers, and then I put this device on. Now, this device was, you know, pretty tight, but he still, when he woke up, he had managed to pull this off of his thumb. And so his thumb was sticking out like this, but his bracelet was still on. Guess what? I checked his fingernail and there was still bitter on there and he didn't suck his thumb. He had put it in his mouth apparently that morning because he came into my room like, eh, yucky daddy, yucky. So he, it, it actually worked. Guess what? After that first experience of pulling this off and tasting that bitter thumbnail, he never pulled this off again. He just left it on all night knowing he could take it off. And in the morning when we would normally just take some scissors and cut the bracelet off of him and pull this off, um, several times he, had, he would just, you know, right there in front of me, he'd pull this thing off and leave it off. And then we would go cut his bracelet off and then take this thing off. So it worked really well in reminding him physically, you know, and one of the reasons why I think he appreciated this is it reminded him not to taste the bitter nail polish. So it's been two months now. He su stopped sucking his thumb. It worked really well. It was really effective having this two-prong approach plus that I'm not sure if it's necessary, but for us it worked showing him that YouTube video at the beginning where it's like, don't suck your thumb, otherwise your face will warp. And it planted that desire for him to stop sucking his thumb. So I can recommend these two devices now. Uh, these are not cheap. You know, if you if, if parents who don't let their kids suck their thumb in the first place, good for you. This thumb guard classic right here, made in the USA, is like $45 on Amazon when we purchased it. $45. And they also make a finger sucking version, but this is the thumb one. Um, again, this is the small size. And it worked for our three-year-old. You know, is $45 worth, you know, its weight in gold as far as preventing orthodontic damage? You know, I don't know. Uh, it's something that you have to determine for yourself. But this thing has proved to be very effective. And obviously in the daytime, we would put this on. So this came put on, was put on his fingers and thumb morning and night. You know, at night after his bath, we'd put this on him, put the thumb guard on. And then in the morning, we'd put this on as well. Now, this had an added side effect of he stopped eating with his fingers. So now he uses utensils and he eats with a fork. So I don't know, just this is what worked for us. Wanted to show you guys, we're all in the same corner here. You know, we're on your side as parents, all parents, you know, are on the same side. Like you watch like parents yelling at their kids at the store or their kids screaming at the store. And you're just like, look at those children. Look at those children, those poor parents, you know, they're working so hard and those parents, those kids are, you know, just, cause I, we know what it's like. So we're on your side and just wanted to, present this and you should read the comments because there are going to be people that have great suggestions in the comments. This is just a really humble amateur experience of what worked for us. Um, let us know what you think. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.